Okay, full disclosure guys, there are some cakes that I'm making currently that I once upon a time wouldn't have put out on YouTube, but I'm in no position to be picky at the moment. As some of you know, I'm having a baby in mere weeks. So I need to build up a bit of a backlog so that when baby comes, I can just chill out and have a bit of a rest and not worry about getting content out. This today is a cake that probably wouldn't have made it onto YouTube once upon a time, but my standards are lower now. So just please bear with me. Here it is. So I had the idea in mind for a St. Patrick's Day themed vintage cake and I started off by doing some ruffles around the bottom of the cake with the Wilton number 70 nozzle and then I moved to the top of the cake to duplicate those ruffles around the top edge. I then used a big chunky 9FT nozzle to do some ginormous shell piping around the bottom and again move that to the top to cover up that inner edge of ruffles on the top of the cake as well. I then used the PME number 13 to do some smaller shell piping inside the massive big chunky shell piping and then this was my attempt at a shamrock i wish i had looked at a shamrock right before i did this and i wish i had used different size nozzles we're all friends here we can agree this just looks like green poops doesn't it this is not a shamrock this is why this cake wouldn't have made it because i did this and i was like oh man this is not a shamrock <laughs> this isn't a four leaf clover there's nothing lucky about this this is green poops on my cake um but there we are standards on the floor it's being posted so my advice would be don't do this have a little look at a shamrock before you do it maybe pick a smaller less chunky nozzle and then go pipe a shamrock to be proud of so with my tail between my legs i continued with this cake and i added some gold and bronze sprinkles to just jazz up the poops then i had some green ribbon that i tied into really pretty bows and added those around the cake and if you don't look at that top bit or if you look at it from like quite far away uh it's okay again please just bear with me i will be putting out some stuff i'm actually quite happy with but there'll be some bits like this thrown in the mix for sure. I just need to get through the end of this pregnancy, have a baby, and then through a bit of postpartum, and hopefully I'll be back to it. I look forward to seeing you again next week, guys. Bye.